Hi there. Now, in this tutorial, what I want to do is introduce you to the Cartesian form for the equation of a plane. And to do this, it's best done from the scalar product form of the plane. And if you've watched that tutorial, you'll know that if we have a point P on the surface of the plane, just a general point P with position vector R, relative to fixed origin O. Then if we have any normal vector, a vector in other words perpendicular to the plane and we call it say N, then the scalar product version of the plane was essentially R dotted with the normal vector N equal to constant, which I call D. Now let's suppose that we take any general point then P on the plane and let's say it's got coordinates X, Y and Z. Then the position vector of R would be X, Y, Z written as a column vector say or XI plus YJ plus ZK. And if we take our normal vector as say AI plus BJ plus CK we'll just write that as a column vector, then we know that this vector xi plus yj plus zk and the normal ai plus bj plus ck must satisfy this equation. So if we were to substitute these values in, okay, in other words for r then we've just got any general point with column vector say xyz and if we were to dot this with the normal vector, which has components A, B, C, all right, then it must equal the constant D. And if we use the scalar product here between these two vectors, what we get is therefore AX okay, plus BY plus CZ equals the constant D. And this particular form of the equation of a plane is known as the Cartesian equation of the plane. And it's important then to understand what these coefficients of X, Y and Z are, A, B and C. They represent then a normal to the plane. Now here's an example that picks up on this concept. We've got to find the Cartesian equation of a plane that passes through the point 2, minus 4, minus 5 and is perpendicular to the vector 3i plus j minus 2k. Now to do this kind of problem, what I want to say first of all that is that the plane has the form and that form will be AX plus BY plus CZ equals D. But we know the coefficients A, B and C because they are the components of our vector here. So we've got A would be 3, B would be 1 and C would be minus 2. So the plane is going to take on the form 3X plus Y minus 2z and that's going to equal the constant d and we need to find this value of d and to do that what I know is that this point with coordinates 2 minus 4 minus 5 well that lies on the plane so we know that x must equal 2 y must equal minus 4 and z must equal minus 5 well, that point must satisfy this equation. So we can say that when x equals 2, y equals minus 4, and z equals minus 5, we can substitute this into this equation, which I'll call number 1. Okay, And if we do that, what we therefore have is that 3 times the x value of 2 plus y which is minus 4 
minus 2 times z, which is minus 5, well that equals the constant d. And if you work that out, d turns out to be 12. So now that we've got d equals 12, we can just say that therefore the equation of the plane, just write a short intro there, the equation of the plane is, and it's going to be 3x plus y minus 2z then equals the constant d, which we've seen is 12. OK, well I hope it's given you an idea how we go about finding the Cartesian equation then of a plane.